Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an error when attempting to install an application on your computer where it says installation ended prematurely because of an error. So if you're coming across this message in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the star menu. Just left click on the start button one time. Type in services. That's match should come back with services right above app. So go ahead and left click on that to open up services. You want to scroll down near the bottom until you find the Windows installer service. Right here. So go ahead and double click on that. If it's stopped, you want to start it. If it's already started, you want to just select the restart the service option up here. So you, just, you either want to start it or restart it. So you can see it's already started. So now I can just select the restart the service option. So I suggest doing both, to be honest. If it was stopped, started, and then also restart it. doesn't really hurt anything to try that. So another thing you can try would be to close it here. Open up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best match, check back with command prompt. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you're prompted with a user account control window, select yes. And now we're going to have a few commands in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy each one one at a time. First one starts with MSI. So we're going to just copy that. Go up to the top bar of the command prompt window. Right click on it. Left click on edit and left click on paste to paste it in. You can also just type it in if you want as well. It doesn't really matter to me. And we're going to hit enter. Next one, we're going to be registering it again. So we're just going to copy the second command. Again, that starts with MSI as well. And paste that into the command prompt. So we're going to paste that in. Hit enter. And now you should be able to attempt to restart the Windows installer service by initiating whatever program application you were running before and hopefully I would have been able to resolve the issue. One further thing you can try would be to paste in the third command I have in the description of the video, the reg svr32, and copy that like you did with the previous two commands, and then go up to the top bar command prompt, right click on it, left click on edit, and then paste that in, hit enter, and finally it should say it has registered the vb script, and select OK. Once you're done with that, close out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully that should be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.